I seek refuge in Allah from devil, the outcast, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. O oh Allah, broaden my chest and make my work easy for me and open the knot of my tongue so that they understand uh, very respectable and honorable, passionate learners of Quran. I say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All of you. A very warm welcome. And congratulations, Alhamdulillah, we are completing our course very fast and today inshallah we'll be doing our lesson number 19 and with this we will be only left by uh, left with one lesson which will be covered next week. In this lesson, it's about how to learn Quran and what are the supplications. Uh, yesterday we did fail, maf'ool and fail. Today inshallah we'll talk about the uh, grammar of the feminine fail. So we will be inshallah adding more words to our vocabulary today and today our target which was to be able to you know uh, learn with the help of 232 words 41,111 words of Quran Alhamdulillah it will be completed today but the next lesson, the 20th lesson, will be very important because we will check whether we have achieved this target or not. So, an extremely important class of the day, uh, class. So, I'm sure you'll have your full attention and inshallah, the same passion and dedication which you keep on showing throughout the course. So, in the last two lessons, yesterday and before that, in the last week, we covered something very important and one of that was the purpose of the revelation of Quran. Do you remember that? What was that? Can somebody tell me what are the two things very important? So anyone from, with reference to that ayah of Quran Kitabun an Zallahu Mubarak Yadabbaru Wali Yatazakkara So the Dabbur so the, the, the purpose of sending the Qur'an explained by Allah himself in Qur'an is number one, pondering, tadabbur. Number two, tazakkur, receiving admonitions, receiving advice. So this was the lesson we covered. Now, yesterday we talked about, Allah has made this Qur'an easy to understand. And we are never going to say now that this is difficult. And this is also again with reference to an ayah from Surah Kamr. And indeed, we have made the Quran easy to understand and remember. We also covered very important ahadith yesterday. One of the saying of the Prophet is, The best of you, the best amongst you is the one man. So, what comes first? Ta'allam al-Quran. What does it mean? Ta'allam al-Quran. Learning comes first. Learning Quran. Student, learn, learning. Learn. Learning is first. So, learn the Quran wa and teaches it. And teaches it. And then we also covered an important saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, which talks about the intention, how important it is. So, innama al-amalu bin niyyat. So, innama do we make parts of innama? No. No, no sir. It's one word. Wait, one word. It is only. Al-amal. Is it singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Amal. Amal, amal. They are based only on intentions. So intentions are very important. In today's lesson, inshallah, there are three steps. Important one. So how to learn Quran and inshallah we'll see to them today and inshallah we'll apply them in our life to make sure that we keep on learning Quran in a wonderful manner. So the first one of them is ask Allah for knowledge. Very important. Asking Allah for knowledge. Uh, so and for that Allah taught 
his beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him a beautiful supplication and we all know that and we all have been saying that since our childhood it is the verse number 114 of surah taha the the entire verse is also beautiful what a allahul malikul haq so the the you know it begins with the the praise for allah but we will only be covering this part of the this aya which says rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma o oh my lord increase me in knowledge rabbi so it is written rab why are we translating it as o oh my lord any idea i think there there is e e e rabbi base yeah. the zir is down mashallah excellent the zir or what we call as uh, kasra on ba actually it stands for ye so rabbi the way we have been doing this table rabbuhu rabbuhum rabbuka rabbi my lord rabbi rabbukum rabbuna so rabbi oh my lord rabbi this is the and rab is the one who takes care of us help us grow and not just me and you but billions of us and every cell of billions of cells within us so he is the rab whenever you are saying rab have this in mind and whenever you are saying rab be have a special attention to it you are seeking help from your very own personal rab rab be zid ni these are two parts actually zid uh, by the way because now you know about fele amr zid is actually an amr zid and ni zid ni we will inshallah study it in level 2 inshallah about zid but it means increase ni increase me zid ni increase me two parts zid ni increase me increase me in what increase me in ilma knowledge in knowledge so ilma in knowledge so rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma we've been saying this since childhood but i want you to now understand every word of it and what does it stand for the prophet of allah is being taught this dua by allah himself for what for memorizing and learning the quran so what could what else could be better than saying this dua praying to allah so we should beg allah using this dua repeatedly and sincerely with our heart and soul in it rabbi zidni ilma so you know there, there is a wonderful tip how could you recite this dua you can link it with the word ilm in ayatul kursi and whenever you recite ayatul kursi or after azkar say rabbi zidni ilma so you see but remember whenever you pray to allah allah loves it that we we plan it also and we spend time every day to understand quran it would not happen automatically we are asking allah and we then have to also do the worldly things we have to plan it you know why a simple example could be if a student keeps on praying day and night oh allah pass me in my in my examination but he doesn't go to school he doesn't open the book doesn't uh, prepare so tell me whether the person will pass the exam yes no no sir of course no, not so i want you to understand this concept how come we will learn quran without studying it without having time for it without sparing planning having a schedule so pray for knowledge but make an effort inshallah that we are serious about it now there is another misunderstanding you will find people saying that you don't need to know more just practice what you know this is not a correct statement why because allah is teaching his prophet and then it is for all of us you know in the beginning of this there is a kul wa qur rabbi zidni ilma 
So this has to be taught to others also. So more knowledge will make us even stronger, will strengthen our faith, and it will be easier to follow the religion. You know, these complications of religion, they come from the interpretations which are not even given in Quran. So read Quran directly, understand it and follow it, inshallah. It will be a simple <coughs> following of, of Quran, what, we, what Allah demands in the book of Allah. And it will greatly help us to spread the message of Allah in the best possible manner. Now, how should we pray? Now, you see, if we are praying like this, Rabbi Zidni, and you know, we are, we are looking here and there and no heart and soul in it. Yeah. Let, me, let me give you an example. Brothers and sisters, if someone has a major heart surgery, and he's told, you know, in heart surgery, the chances of survival are. So he's told that tomorrow you have your heart surgery. What do you think? How would that person pray that night? Oh, Any idea? How would that person much. pray? Desperately, sir. <laughs> what so is? that person will cry, beg, you know, bow before Allah, prostrate and pray to Allah. Similarly, you know, we have to beg Allah, ask Allah again and again, Oh Allah, this is the matter of our survival. So you help us. Make it easy for us so that we understand every page and every word of the most important book of knowledge. Alhamdulillah. So Rabbi, Zidni Elma. Just read it out and inshallah, then we discuss further. Okay, now this is the first step towards learning how to learn praying to Allah, then Allah wants us to plan for it, do things, take active action, practic practical steps. So use all the resources, starting with the pen. Now, all the resources. Why? Because Allah says in Quran, Surah Alaq, and it starts with a very famous Surah, Iqra, Bismi Rabbi Kallazi Khalaq, so we, we are only going to study this ayah, which motivates us and inspires us to use pen. So Allazi, what does it mean, everyone? Those who... No, this is... Remember? This is, uh, I think, Allazi... It's not Allah-Zina. Yes. Allah-Zina. Allah Allah Excellent. Singular Allah what is its plural? Allah-Zina. Allah-Zina. Allah yeah. So allah means the one who, not those who, one who. allah is plural, all those who. So allah Allama. Did you learn this word Allama earlier? Yes. yes. When? Yes. Allama. Allama. Alima Allah, Amala Alima. Um, when you told Kai Kairukum Min Dalla Malkurana Wallama. Mashallah, Kairukum Man. Sister, remember it is Man is for who and Min has a different meaning, which is say uh, from. Oh, How sorry, sorry, sir. Is it Man or Min? Sorry, sorry. It is Man, right? No problem, sister. It is Man. Yeah. Oh, Just. Okay. It is good that you said it and we can learn from each other and we can correct each other. So it is good you said it. So I think others would also have a focus on it. So keep the translation in mind. <laughs> You'll be able to learn the Arabic words also properly. So that was Khairukum man ta'allam al-Quran Thank you. And thank you. Very right, mashallah. Allama teaching, right? Allama who? Allama he taught. 
Allama, he taught. Allazi, Allama, he is the one, meaning by Allah is the one. So Allazi and Allazina. They are in Quran hundreds of times. Allazi, Allazina. Allazi, Allazina. Allama, he Allazi, Allazina. Could, could you please, brother, mute your mic? Someone's mic is disturbing us. So, Allazi, Allazina, Allama comes from Ta'allama. Yesterday we studied one who learns Ta'allama and taught. So, Bil Kalam. So, same example which our sister has just mentioned. Bil Kalam, B and Al Kalam. B is her figure. Al Kalam, the pen. Bil Kalam, by the pen. So Allah is the one who taught by the pen. The one who taught by the pen. Allazi Allama Bil Kalam. Now remember, so what should we do now when we hear the word Kalam? So we learn from this ayah, we must use Kalam. Allah says he taught by the pen. We must pick up the pen immediately. And You've been writing millions of hundreds of words for many other things. Now use it for learning Quran, Quranic Arabic. Make it a habit. Mashallah, you're already working on your uh, workbook. If not, make sure you start working right now from this moment onwards because you still have time to submit your workbook and take notes of everything which you learn about Quran. Maintain a special notebook, a record of all your learning. Whenever you hear about anything about Quran, put it in that notebook. So develop a small library of books and notebooks about Quran, which are handy, which are close to you. You know, I keep all my books and uh, for the for Quran very close to me, and they are they are you know they are all kept here, and dictionaries and books and everything. So similarly, I keep my diary as well next to my which is where I maintain all my notes about. So that's what I'll, I'll, what I'll suggest you. Uh, maintain a small corner, a small place, something, uh, you know, in the corner of your house. This is my Quran corner. I have all the resources for learning Quran here. So inshallah, it will bring a beautiful culture to your home. So what does research say about writing? You know, it says writing helps you learn things effectively. Because when you're writing, you first read, you listen, you think about it. Then you use your eyes for writing it, your fingers for writing it. So everything, your entire body is involved and focused on the task. So make a commitment to yourself that you will spare maybe five minutes at least for writing the meanings and grammatical forms of the new words. So, but not with laziness, rather with passion, devotion and sincerity. So, what is the knowledge which we are, we are all most efficient is the knowledge of Quran. It is so sad. You know, this Ummah who was taught, who is given this the very first word is ikra, read. And the Prophet of Allah said, you know, from the from your birth to death, you must seek knowledge. So, uh, and it is made obligatory for every Muslim, men and women, to seek knowledge. So make reading and writing your special habit. And special when you are learning about Quran, very special. Allazi Allama Bil Kalam. Just revise it and remember when you are revising it, say it loud enough to your ears. You hear every word. You say Allazi, then you say this is an ism, then you say it's plural is Allazina, then you say it means the one who. So you remember everything about it. You revise everything about it. <clears throat> Yes, Sister Asiya, you have a question? Uh, yes, I have a question. What is the Arabic word for teach? 
for teach. Yes. Uh, though we also say Darasa, okay. and there is there is already you are studying Lama. He taught. He taught, but for like in present, yeah. that will be. Uh, yeah, we actually will do the in in your uh, next level. You will be doing the uh, these uh, Mazid fi afal and learning about them. Otherwise, see this al lim. You are also ordering somebody to teach al limu. It's right in front of you, written there. So, if you want to say somebody to teach, say al lim. And uktubu is to write down. Okay, now, third thing for today is <clears throat> compete and try to excel. So, brothers and sisters, we normally compete for our worldly examinations. In your classroom, you've been competing with your class fellows at school, college, university, and you did every best to make sure that you get more marks than your class fellows. In life, we compete for a big house, a great car, nice dresses, wonderful living, and blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know whether you will definite, you will be actually, you did get something or you will be getting something from all these comparisons. But I know for sure, if you compete with a good niya to excel for learning Quran, it will be loved by Allah. Because Allah says in Quran, this is an this is this comes from Surah Mulk, ayah number two. The complete ayah is beautiful, but we are only going to cover this part. It starts with Allazi Khalak al Mauta wal Hayat al Yablu akum ayyukum ahsan wamala. You know, so the first part is also very important. Allah created life and death for the purpose to test you. Ayyukum ahsan wamala. We will focus on this. Ayyukum ahsanu amala. Which of you is best in deeds? By the way, what do you think? How many parts of ayyukum? Two. Two parts. Ayyu and kum. MashaAllah. Ayyukum. It is ayyu and kum. Ayyu is a question word. Which of kum? Which of you all? So ayyukum. Which of you all? Ayyukum. Do not confuse it with iya ka, which we studied in the beginning. That was for focus. Iya ka, only you, you only. So it is ayu kum, which of you? Ayu kum. Say it out with me, all of you. Ayu kum. Ayu kum. Ayu kum. Ayu kum. Ayu kum. Which of you? Which of you? Which of you? Which of you all? Ahsan. Ahsan. We have studied this word Ahsan earlier also. So it comes from like Kabir, Akbar, Sagir, Asgar, Hassan, Ahsan. Hassan is good. Ahsan, the best. So remember, we also we 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 have. We did when we did the prayer and we said Rabbana Atina Fid Dunya Hasana. So from Hasan, Hasana, the, the feminine form was also made. So Hasan, good. Ahsan, the best. So Amala, we also studied it yesterday from Amal, Amal, or so Ayyukum Ahsan Wamala. Who amongst you? Which one of you is the best in deeds? Allah wants to see our actions, not just our words. So, and how good we do with our actions. Okay. Amal, amal. Amal, amal. Innamal amalu bin niyat. We studied that. So, Allah created us not just to see who is a Muslim and who is not, but to see who is the best Muslim. Best in what? Best in our individual actions. Like, Best in praying, offering your prayer, fasting, uh, learning Quran, all what is your individual work. Best in your office, best at your home, dealing with your family, your wife, your brothers and sisters and parents, and with your neighbors. Best in office, 
best in social works, collective works, helping others, doing dawa, enjoining good, forbidding evil. So Allah wants us to try to be the best in every manner possible. You know, there's a beautiful saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Allah loves that you attain excellence in all that you endeavor, in all that you undertake, in all that you try to do. Allah loves it. You know, so Allah expect from a Muslim, from a Mormon, to be the best in all good things. So Alhamdulillah, here you have started learning the Quran. Allah is watching us right now to see who is the best in learning the Quran in this class. So I am inviting you all to a positive way of competing with your class fellows, only for the sake of Allah. We will pray for all our class fellows, but we will try to be better than others. And then Allah will reward you based on your efforts. Just try, make sure you give your best and compete. And each one of you make a commitment that inshallah, you will achieve 90% in your final quiz because you want inshallah. to be a future teacher of the course as well. You know, while you're learning Quran, somebody is in great, great trouble. Shaitan is extremely upset. Why? Because you have taken the first step towards learning the Quran, the book of Allah. And he is going to try his level best to stop you. Will give you lots of excuses. And he's very experienced. But remember, you enjoy the support of Allah. Whenever you feel the shaitan is trying to, you know, create bad thoughts, say, A'uzu billahi min shaitan rajim And remember, ayyukum ahsan wa mala. I will make every effort to compete and win. So shaitan is ready. Angels are also re ready. Their pens are also ready to record your deeds. Are we all ready? Are you ready? So, Alhamdulillah. So we complete it. Ayyukum ahsanu amala. Your time to revise it. So Alhamdulillah, today again, we studied three things. Supplicate repeatedly. Rabbi Zidni Ilma. O oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. Use pen and all available resources. Allazi allama bil kalam. The one taught by the pen. Compete for the sake of Allah. Ayyukum ahsanu amala. Which of you is best in deeds? Alhamdulillah. And I want to share with you some important dates as we are coming towards the close of the session and this course, your workbook submission date. Dates are 15th and 16th of December. So brothers and sisters, you still have enough time. Make sure you start working on your workbook because there are 15 marks, 15 marks weightage in your overall result based on your workbook. And what you do is you keep on doing your workbook lessons, send it to your support teachers. They will review and send it back to you. And you will submit the complete workbook to me at towards the end of the course on these two days, 15th and 16th. Sir, sir on which date uh, we will... Uh... Yeah, submit please. it to you, sir. These are, sister, these are the dates for submission to me. 15th and 15th, 16th okay, of sir, On 15th or 16th, we will submit it to you, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. sir. Okay, sir. Got this it. The final submission date for, uh, for okay, to me. Okay, sir. Sir, on your WhatsApp number. Yeah, the same. Okay, sir. Salam Thank you, sir. Wa alaikum Salam. Salam. Yes, sir. Sister. I've been trying to wanna send some wanna work. Okay, wanna. Now the wanna is not going. I don't know why. Since last two weeks. Uh, wait. Uh, if sister. I talk to you, you why know, did you speak something? To me, I can't get them. Salamu alaikum. Sir, the audio is very low. We cannot hear very well. Uh, could you please raise hand whoever is talking so that 
only I listen to one person at one time. The audio is, is very low. Audio video clear. No, sister, please raise your volume. I think there is some issue at your end. I say, sir, I say, I've been well. trying to send this workbook since last two weeks, but I'm not well. getting them. All the number I try, I've been trying, I will not get them. That's why I say, I don't sister, know why. To, sister, to who are you, to whom are you sending it? I, all the names that you send it to, who are Please don't send, no, no, no. Please don't send to all the names. Just contact with one person. Tell them I want my work book to be checked and send it to that person. If you do not get a response in 48 hours, then please send it to me. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So if in if because of any reason you do not submit it by 16th, 19th, December will be the last date. But it sir, will be with minus sir, three marks. Sorry, sir. Uh, we will take the picture of each chapter and then we will send it to you like I sent it to my teacher. On the same way? Yes, sister. They will review okay. and send it back to you once it is complete. You yeah, can sir. send those pictures to me or you can make a PDF file, one PDF file and send it to me. Okay, sir. Yeah. So, inshallah, we will also have your review sessions. And homework links, I would also request you all to please start. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, wa alaikum assalam, sister. Um, um, if, if the workbook have been reviewed by the other teacher, can we make correction before sending to you or we just send them like that? No, sister, you must be actually making corrections for yourself so that you get maximum okay. marks. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So the uh, final quiz date is Friday, 22nd December, 2023. And there is no retesting for the final quiz. Remember that. Inshallah, I'll repeat these dates and I'll put them in the group also after your lesson 20. So just a quick reminder for all of you for these dates. Yes, Brother Al Hassan Gawarzo. Assalamu alaikum, Ustaz. Uh, well, you remember so I made a request that um, is it possible to change the final exam quiz to Saturday instead of Friday because Friday is a working day for us and uh, we, we have to leave work and uh, usually we close office around that same time when this program is starting at 5 o'clock but Saturday will have been a very good day because it's a weekend and we'll be ready for the, uh, for the final quiz. Okay, brother, actually, normally we do not change these dates because they are, or everything is decided at the time of starting the course. However, uh, if the most people in the group would like it to be shifted to Saturday, we will, inshallah, do that for you, right? Yes, sir. So, no problem. You can so, do it. So, no, yeah, I'll sure request you all to please send your views in the chat box. So write down Saturday if you want to have it on Saturday. If most people will go for Saturday, I will change it to Saturday, right? Okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, okay. brother. Modu, Modu Kalu. Yes. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I was Malikum. asking whether the final quiz does it cover the whole syllabus of the whole course or the second? No, no, brother, complete all lessons, 1 to 20, all lessons. Okay, okay. Shukra. Inshallah, we'll give you an orientation on that. It is just the announcement of dates. So let's, okay, I see most of you mentioning Saturday. So I will, inshallah, change it to? The teacher class, Ali Nagit. Okay. You're saying there's some emergency. I'm leaving. If I return back early, I will take your class. Okay. Otherwise, I'll we'll take it tomorrow. All right. You can watch the video. Sister Aisha, you have a question or something? Assalamu alaikum, sir. Yes, I have a question, sir. Regarding Please. the work. Sister, I can't hear you. Are you there? Okay, we'll take rest of the questions at the end of the class. Let's now start with the grammar part. So in the grammar, inshallah, we are going to do the feminine verbs for all the afal we have done. We have done 
you know, Fataha uh, Nasara Daraba, Fataha Nasara Daraba Samia, so Faala Jaala Abada Kafara Zalama Alima Amida. So for all of them, we are going to learn now the feminine verbs. And inshallah, uh, it will be very easy for all of you to learn. So we always say fa'ala, which means huwa fa'ala. Although we know that in fa'ala, there is already a subject. Huwa is already part of the fa'ala. But just to make sure that you understand huwa fa'ala is a, is a masculine, masculine. or verb. So similarly, hiya fa'alat, hiya fa'alat. Just notice that there, the last letter, alphabet, is silent, fa'alat. And it is different than fa'alta, fa'altu. Because in fa'alta, the last letter has a harkat on it, which is uh, fatha. And fa'altu, the last letter again, has uh, a dhamma on it. While this is fa'alat. Fa'alat, hiya fa'alat, she did. Huwa fa'ala, he did. Hiya fa'alat, she did. So similarly, in mudare, we say huwa yaf'alu. Huwa yaf'alu, what? He does. Hiya taf'alu. Hiya taf'alu. She does. Now, two things to notice here. One, as I said earlier, you know, you have to Differentiate between falta, fa, al, ta. So see, this is falta and fa, al, tu. In this, fa, al, ta has this fa, al, tu. Now let's see. The difference. Fal has a harka on it on the last and fal to also. But fa'alat, this is silent on the last word. See there. So this is the difference. All feminine would follow the same pattern. So fa'ala, fa'alat. Can somebody now, understanding this concept, can somebody tell me if I say fataha, what would be the feminine? Fatahat. 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 Mashallah. Excellent. You're all great. Fataha. Fatahat. What if I say Ja'ala? Ja'ala. Mashallah. If I say Daraba? Darabat. Darabat. If I say Nasara? Nasara. Nasara. If I say Abadat? Abadat. Abadat. Abadat, mashallah. If I say Tamiya, 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 Alima, Alima, Alima. If I say Zakara, Zakara, Zakara. If I say Amila, Amila, Amila. Mashallah, you are all doing it yourself. I don't need to even teach you further. So Alhamdulillah, an intelligent class I have with me. So, so just for, for good practice, we will call it Uwa Fa'ala Kiya Fa'ala. Uwa Fa'ala Kiya Fa'ala. Okay? And for Fa'ala, Uwa Yaf'alu Kiya Taf'alu. Uwa Yaf'alu Kiya Taf'alu. Now, you might say, Sir, Taf'alu. Have you seen this Taf'alu somewhere already? Yes. Sir. Yes. Where? Yafalu, Yafaluna, Tafalu. Pointing towards. Excellent. So we say Anta Tafalu actually. Anta Tafalu. Right? Yes. Now, yes. this is exactly the same Tafalu. I mean, it is written exactly in the same manner. Same Arabic word with same harakat. However, when it is here for the masculine, he. it is anta tafalu. But when it is here, it is hiya tafalu, same tafalu. 
and that's why i am saying hiya with it so that you could differentiate anta tafalu hiya tafalu hiya tafalu is she does anta tafalu is you do and when i say you it is a male member so the 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 feminine of faala is faala and of yafalu is tafalu similarly if i say huwa yaftahu what would you say here hiya yeah taf taftahu taftahu if i say huwa huwa yansuru what would you say here yatansuru yatansuru mashallah alhamdulillah so you are all understanding this concept excellent so we will now do a good practice of these two things which we have learned very easy just a little more practice will make you perfect in it so let's now go for huwa fa'ala hi yafa'ala huwa yaf'alu hi yataf'alu your practice time now yes sister hira ah uh, huwa fa'ala هي فعلت هو يفعل هي تفعل سيستر مدينه هو هو فعل هي فعل هو يفعل هي تفعل نيكست هو يفعل هي تفعل I want more people to please come forward. Take turn. Do the revision. Sister Nita Salman. Who are Fala? Who are Fala? He are Falaat. Who are Yafalu? He are Tafalu. Mashallah. Sister Nalu, go Shamim. Who are Fala? He are Falaat. هو يفعل هي تفعل ما شاء الله استا خديجه هو فعل هو فعل هي فعل هو يفعل هي تفعل excellent so you see now we will practice this for all the afal especially the four major styles so mashallah you were all already able to do that so fataha fatahat yaftahu taftahu nasara nasara yansuru tansur daraba darab yadribu tadribu samia samia yasmau tasmau okay so okay let's everybody do it with me first माशाला एक्सीलेंट सो हू विल डू इट ना रेज हैंड सो आई आई वुड लाइक मोर पीपल एंड डिफरेंट पीपल टू डू इट सो सिस्टर आयशा ए ए दरबु दरबात यद्रिबु यद्रबात तद्रिबात तद्रिबु सिस्टर तद्रिबु तद्र
سمعه سمعوا كس سوري كسم كسمعت سمعت ما شاء الله سمعت يسمعوا Tasmau. 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 Yes, now, <clears throat> remember, I'm sure you all also know the meaning. Sister Fatima to Zora. When we say Fataha, what does it mean? Um, he opened. Excellent. And if I say Fataha, what would it mean? She opened. Excellent. Yaftahu. Um, he will open. He opened. opened. He opens, taftahu. Or he Listen. opens or he oh. will open, like that. Uh, yeah. Taftahu, she opens or she will open. Excellent. Very well done. Yes, sister. Now practice uh, the afal. Fataha. Then fataha, yeah. Fatahat. Yaftahu. Taftahu. Nasara. Nasurat, Yansuru, Tansuru, Doraba, Dorabat, Yadribu, Tadribu, Samia, Samiat, Yasmau, Tasmau. Tasma, mashallah. So you can apply it on all other afal. If I say zakara, you'll say zakara, zakarat, yazkuru, taskuru. If I use any 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 other fill, abada, you'll say abada. Ya'budu, ta'budu. So alhamdulillah, uh, we, we, we are now uh, able to make all these afal, afal. Okay, now alhamdulillah, if we look at these tables, okay, a few of, uh, you know, quick challenge questions for all of you. So the feminine of Fa'ala is A, B, C, D. Fa'ala, C. Fa'ala, C. C. Very good. So, Hiya Taf'alu means A, B, C, D. C, B, C, C. C, B, C. Carefully. He will do. He will do. He will do. He will do. C and D. Yes. He will do. She does. Okay. So now their count is already added in the tables. See, our table is becoming bigger and it is becoming complete. So now we could say in Mazi, Fataha, Fatahu, Fatahat. Uh, by the way, we can follow this pattern. Fataha, Fatahu, Fatahta, Fatahtu, Fatahtum, Fatahna, and Fatahat. Similarly, Yaftahu, Yaftahuna, Taftahu, Aftahu, Taftahuna, Naftahu, Hiya, Taftahu. Iftah, Iftahu. La Taftah, La Taftahu. Fatihun, Maftuhun, Fathun. Right. So who will do the complete table? Yes, Sister Hira. Fataha, Fatahu, Fatahat, Fatahata, Fatahto, Fatahtum, Fatahna. Yaftahu, Yaftahuna, Taftahu, Taftahu, Aftahu, Taftahuna, Naftahu. Ifta, Iftahu, La Tafta, La Taftahu, Fatihun, Maftuhun, Fatahun. Fatahun, excellent. So we know the meaning Fatahai opened and accordingly all the meanings of the similarly Nasara. Our table is once again complete. By the way, I, I've told you for your easy uh, practice because we have been practicing Nasara, Nasaru, Nasarta, Nasartu, Nasartu, Nasarna. You can bring the feminine at the end, Nasarat, rather than, you know, in the center. So Nasarat. Yansuru, Yansuruna, Tansuru, Ansuru, Tansuruna, Nansuru, Hiya Tansuru. Unsur unsuru la tansur la tansuru nasir mansur nasr. So Nasara, he helped. Alhamdulillah. So who would like to where are my brothers today? They are all lost. I would like to see some of my brother also here. Is it is it is it sister Hira only? She has to take all the leads. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am happy, Mashallah, sister. But I I want to encourage you, others also come forward, Thank and especially God, to see some of my brother coming forward. Okay, I see Doctor Zafar there. Okay, brother. Thank you very much for coming for forward, Doctor Zafar. <laughs> Nasara Nasaru Nasarat Nasarta Nasarto Nasarto Nasarna Yam Soro Yam Sorula Yam Soro Nan Soro Tan Soro An Soro Tika Tika Doctor Tan Suruna Nan Tan Suruna Nan Soro Unsor Unsoru La Tansur La Tansuru Nasirun Mansurun Nasurun. Excellent, mashallah. Great work done. So 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 now when you are at home, everyone, you have to practice it with actions, all the tables, and make sure that you have faster speed than me. Okay. So now I'm going to give a challenge, speed challenge to, to you all for Daraba. Let's say, can somebody do it like me, like this? Daraba, Darabu, Darapta, Daraptu, Daraptum, Darabna, Darabat. Yadribu, Yadribuna, Tadribu, Adribu, Tadribuna, Nadribu, Hiya, Tadribu. Idrib, Idribu, La, Tadrib, La, Tadribu, Darib, Madrub, Darb. So who is taking the challenge? Our sister is taking challenge, challenge and no brother is ready to take the challenge. Okay, sister Hira. Daraba, Darabu, Darab, Darapta, Darapto, Daraptum, Darabna, Yadribu, Yadribuna, Tadribu, Tadribu, Adribu, Tadribuna, Nadribu, Itrip, Itribu, La Tadrip, La Tadribu, Daribun, Madrubun, Darbun. Mashallah. So you can just do this practice in an interesting manner at home with somebody a family member, brother or sister or parents with your uh, husband and wife. What's such a beautiful thing doing this wonderful practice at home, learning from each other, learning the words of Quran and improving ourselves every day. So the fourth table or the fourth style is Samia. He listened. And we say Samia, Samiu, Samita, Samitu, Samitum, Samitna, Samia. She listened. Yesmau, Yesmauna, Tasmau, Asmau, Tasmauna, Nasmau, Yetasmau, she listens. Isma, listen. Ismau, la, Tasma, la, Tasmau, Samiun. The one who listens. Masmuun, what is being listened? Some on. Listen. Okay. So who is coming forward now? Someone new. So, Sister Hira, let's give somebody other. Somebody else okay, a chance. Sir. Okay, sir. Sorry. It's perfect. I can try. I can try. Okay, sister, try. Samia, Samiu, Samita, Samitu, Samitum, Samiat. Sorry, I'm I'm so quick. I'm sorry. Should I follow your direction or I can? No, can no, I... you can at your own speed. Okay, okay. So I, I start again, okay? Tamiya, Samiu, Samita, Samitu, Samitum, Samina, yes, uh, Samiat. Yes, Mau, yes, Mauna, Tasmau, 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 Asmau, Tasmauna, Nasmau, Tasmau. Marshal, very good. Ma, Isma, Ismau, La Tasma, La Tasmau, Tame, Masmo, Samo. Mashallah. Excellent, sister. Very well done. Sister, next is Sister Khadijat Gawarzu. Yes, sister. Yes, <laughs> ma'u. Yes, ma'una. Tasmau, Tasmau, Asmau, Tasmauna, Nasma. Isma, Ismau, La Tasma, La Tasmau, Samia, Masmau, Masmaun, 
some on. Must move on, some on. Excellent, mashallah, sister. Very well done. So we have done the four tables and the four styles, and inshallah, you are going to revise them at home, practice them so well that you will be even faster than me. So let's come to the last uh, thing of the day, which is the learning tip. And today's learning tip is about how much we remember. And brothers and sisters, according to some scientific studies, 25% of what we read, we remember, meaning by 75% of it, we will forget. But if you listen also, you remember 35% of. If you also see 50% 50 50 of what you see, 60% of what you say, that is why I always request you, encourage you to come forward, revise, say it out also. And 75% of what we do. So the more actions you do, the more you are likely to remember whatever we are learning. And 95% of what we read, listen, see, say, do, act. So brothers and sisters, that is why this course has been designed in a way you see, you can see the slide, you can read the words, you can listen my words, you can see the actions, you can also do your own actions, you can say it out also, then later on you do your workbook. So when you do all these things, inshallah, you will remember 95% and more than that. And since we need to learn and apply yes. this for the Quran, we have to do more and more practice. So the more TPI you do and TPS, which is twin, pair and share, two people together, you know, makes a great, great impact. So make, you know, uh, pairs, have partners at home, somebody who can help you practice together. So the, the, these, uh, all these works, all these activities of the course can be done. Uh, in collaboration and inshallah you will be learning more alhamdulillah summa alhamdulillah that today we have completed 232 words which occur in quran almost 111 times but our target does not finish here inshallah we'll keep learning quran and there are 4500 words in quran which are repeated almost 78000 times and we must continue our journey with this pray to Allah. Oh Allah, help us to recite, understand, ponder, Ameen. implement, propagate, and memorize this beautiful book, the Quran. Ameen. Ameen.